Hello, Soraya Bastian here, owner and creator of Beyond Breath, a program that helps women overcome the emotional trauma from their husband's infidelity and create a beautiful marriage. Today, I have one of my clients with me who has decided to stay confidential, which as you know, we absolutely hold with compassion and grace. Just really appreciate her being willing to share her time with us today. So welcome. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. I love it. It's kind of like a step in the healing journey to be able to share it, your story in this way. It is. It's honestly, you know, with everything, you can just kind of shut the door, but yet still leave it open and, and know that this is part of my journey. So thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're so welcome. So let's start off with the first question I always ask, just what was the main problem that you were experiencing before Beyond Breath? Yeah, definitely. So um main problem I was experiencing before beyond breath was just, uh, truly accepting what had happened. Um, you know, you're just, it happens so quickly and all of a sudden you find out and it's something that you think would never in a million years happen to you. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's where you just kind of, I, I just felt stuck and I didn't know where to start. Who do I go to? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just again, like, how can I move forward from this? And can I even move forward from this mm -hmm. uh, and a moment of finding out, you know, the answer to myself was no, I can't move forward from this. I can't, you know, and, and being a, a mom and having kids and, uh, we'd been married for 10 years mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it just was just hard to accept what had happened. And, um, you know, and I, in the kind of, leader feet movement of just like, do I stay put? Do I go? It's like, I am so alone in this department. How, how can I move forward with this? And, you know, so you start to Google and you start to pray and, and just think one day at a time, but it just continues to, to get worse. Cause maybe you find more out. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't have family that you want to tell, cause you don't want to know if that will ruin, the family and, you know, again, just so many emotions with it and just feeling that alone feeling, um, you know, so, so what are my next steps? Do I have to leave him in order for me to heal? That is what I was dealing with before finding beyond death. Such a hard wall to come against for sure. Yeah. It is it's a wall. It, that's a great way of putting it. It's a wall that you're trying to maybe climb over you're trying to go around but you just keep hitting the wall and bouncing that much further back for sure digging a hole underneath yeah. it yeah literally, literally but just sinking yeah. so much yeah, totally so tell me how long before you found beyond breath had you been trying to move past that space yeah man I feel so lucky with this question because I know there are so many you know people and women that have been dealing with this for years before they find anything like beyond breath. Um, and, and mine was just within the first month, um, which again, I am so, so grateful for. And that's what helped me join so much quicker. Um, was luckily it was just within a month. Um, I had only told, um, you know, one of my family members and parents, and then I had just one day where I was like, you know, I need to tell someone. Mm -hmm. And the person that I told never in a million years would I have thought she had been through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And truly that was such a God moment for me. Um, you know, so she was able to walk with me and still continues to this day to walk through it with me. Um, and she said, Hey, I know this is strange. I don't ever use Instagram, but let me show you this woman on, in, on Instagram. I think you would absolutely connect with her because I tend to watch her every single day mm -hmm. and I've been on the fence of, you know, doing it or not. And, and so I said, yeah, send it to me. I'll look at it a different time. You know, I kind of would have certain times a day that I would be able to kind of just handle the, the conversation in itself and the emotions. And I remember putting my kids to bed and, I mean, I just got into a, a great hole of all of your content. It was like every video I was either laughing at your reels or like, 
heck yeah, that is so me right now. And <laughs> crying because of, you know, this and that. And just, so it was truly only a month before I found you. And that was when it was like, I don't care what this costs. <laughs> I need somebody to walk through this with me as well. And so, yeah, I, I, yeah, scheduled the call and away we went. Yeah. I love that. And it's crazy. Like one of our clients who just joined has been uh, trying to find that inner peace and that solace and that like ability to reconnect in her relationship for 30 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, she just shared with us the other day in a, in a private message that this is a breath of fresh air after 30 years of trying so many different things, a breath of fresh air. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. And I, you know, and I remember too, in that moment, just being like, I don't, I don't want it to be, you know, 20, 30 years that I finally do something. It's like, I need this now. <laughs> right. right. I love that. Yeah. Tell me, so just in that one month, and when I, when I asked this question, like, what did you do to try to fix it? Like, was there any snooping? Was there conversation after conversation with your husband? Cause I know you necessarily didn't like get to do all the stuff, you know, that, that people who go through this for 30 years do, but tell me what in that one month, like what, what did you do to try to fix this or come to that conclusion of what you should do? Yeah, definitely. Um, honestly, the, the way I found out was the cell phone. Mm -hmm. And so that to me, to this day is still one of my biggest triggers. Mm -hmm. And, um, so yeah, checking the phone constantly obsessing over it. I'm not Mm going to find anything. I'm not finding anything. And, um, you know, there's a delete button for a reason there, you know, there's, there's nothing that, and it just wouldn't make me feel better. And I remember hearing that on another video or some, another woman, you know, talking about that, like it would make me feel worse. And I was like, yeah, but why do I want to do it so badly? So yes, the snooping of the phone was truly my quick fix of just like a quick little drug kind of just to make me feel better. I'm okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. When down, I knew we were good. Like I knew that that was, it, it, it's done. Like I knew that, but I couldn't get past that. And, um, you know, within that first couple of weeks, we had never done couples counseling before. And, you know, I had someone lined up right off the bat, like, this is where we're going. But it just, you know, it, and that was almost a quick fix too, for the first couple of weeks of like, oh, you know, we, we just need to keep doing this every single day and makes you feel better. But then something would trigger something would happen. And those skills would go out the window. And I don't remember them. It, they weren't easy to really kind of remember or do in those moments. And, um, so even that, it was like, you know, we didn't, we didn't do that long. It, it was kind of fresh in the beginning. We did it in the beginning, but it just kind of dwindled like to me. And so it, I don't want to say it didn't work. We didn't give it enough chance because I felt like once I learned what beyond breath was about, I was like, this is for me. Like, Mm -hmm. this is how I need to handle me. So yeah, I would say we, we just tried those two things and then, I think I tried to read, I'm not a huge book reader unless I'm on vacation. And I think I tried to find every Lisa Turner <laughs> book. Um, but I'd get done with the book, Soraya, and be like, what did I just read? Mm-hmm. I literally would be highlighting just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, like great verse, this this statement. And then get done and be like, I am in such a blur. Like I, I don't even know what I'm reading because I can't think straight right now. Mm-hmm. So I honestly... I did read like probably two or three books just in that month, but I would love to go back and read them today now because my yes. mind's in a place, yeah. but it wasn't. Yes. Uh, yes. The highlighting and like the validation that you receive, but also like at the end of the day, like, what, yeah, what did you read and how does it apply to your life? Exactly. exactly. Um, so tell me what, what's been the highlight since joining Beyond Breath? Oh my goodness. We may need a few hours for this one. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And honestly, it just gives my body goosebumps. I'm just, I'm so grateful in so many ways, but I think the biggest highlight is just the community. Mm -hmm. Um, To go back to your initial question of, you know, what were you experiencing before beyond breath was just accepting that this happened to me when I never in a million years, I was promised for 15 years that some, I would never do this. And then joining the the community and, and, Oh, sorry. 
just truly feeling not alone and that I can, I can do this and that I don't have to leave him to move on and, and be a wife and to be a mom. And I can still love him even after infidelity. I can still look at him and smile the way I smiled at him before I found out. And honestly, even bigger now, I can smile even bigger now. And, and I feel just joy through my body. Now, am I still having hard days? Absolutely. Have I accepted that I'm going to still have those hard days? Absolutely. But on those hard days, the tools that I have learned in Beyond Breath, which this would be another highlight then is they're simple. They're simplified tools that I can take with me wherever I go. And my books aren't with me. My highlighter's not with me. Those tools are with me. So they, mm -hmm. it just was very, very doable. And it was, I was able to do it on my, my own time when I felt ready, you know, if, if we went to a counseling session or something, and there was a day that I was like, I do not want to sit by you right now, but I was forced to, I had to sit by him and, and maybe he would try and touch me. I don't want my leg touched right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. And so I just found myself when I was able and ready to do a module or chip away at a module or listen to a, a testimony or, you know, read the victories. And just, I was able to do that on my time when I felt ready, because again, what I've learned, and this is another highlight is this is my journey right now. I can only work on me. And before beyond breath, I was very like, Oh boy, what do we, 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 and knowing like he's got him and I've got me and yes, we can do things together. Absolutely. But <laughs> this is me. Like, I, and that is a huge thing I learned. I, I, I would have never connected that dot of like, this is me right now in this moment, in this present, in this, uh, to move forward, I have to work on me first. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and honestly, even to the, I know I had mentioned the, the phone being a huge trigger to this day. And it is just, the, just a vibrate. It is. And, um, I got, and this is just a victory in itself last night of, you know, we were laying in bed and all of a sudden the vo phone vibrated and I just tensed up and I could feel my body. And, and he's like, did that trick? I said, yes. And, and I, I love that I have been able to talk to him about that trick, little big trigger over time. And in that moment, you know, he squeezed me that much harder and we were able to work ourselves out of that versus me spiraling, not saying anything and shoving it under the rug. Yep. And then two days later, crying about it. <laughs> yep. that, that is just a, a victory in itself of highlighting those little wins that take time for sure. On. Yes. After you've like shoved it down and it's festered and then it's coming up two days later oh, yeah. on the couch and he doesn't know why. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So cool. So tell me then what have been your ultimate like results from, from doing this? Yeah. I mean, I've probably rambled off so many results already just in this, but I would, I would truly say that just knowing that this thing, just infidelity as a whole, again, something no woman ever imagines them, imagines themselves going through that this was not my fault. And, um, you know, there is life, there is marriage. We, we celebrate our 11 year anniversary tomorrow. Yay. And as many emotions as I've been having leading up to this, I'm excited for this anniversary because it's new, it, you know, it's just every year is such a blessing, but this year is the biggest blessing we've been able to conquer. It's been nine months since I found out and, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that that in itself is, a, is a victory to, to know that this was not my fault and, um, we can move forward. Um, I can still be a mom and a wife, like I had mentioned, and I do still want more kids. And even just in this community of beyond breath, women having babies still, and they are moms too. And again, I'm not, I'm not alone. I'm not, I'm not alone. So that just, that definitely in itself is, is a, a win. Um, and then again, like I mentioned, just know using my tools on those hard days, stopping that spiral 
Um, and again, some days I spiral more than others. And some days I'm like, screw that. I'm not thinking about that right now. Mm -hmm. And, but when I am spiraling to, to know how to stop that with the tools that I've learned and beyond breath. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, you've only been practicing then for like, say six months, right? Yeah. So, like, and you've already experienced so much relief and healing and connection. Just imagine you keep doing this, how mm -hmm. this lesson, how the skills will build where like the spiraling won't even affect you even the way that it is now. Right. Right. So, right. Right. I do remember one of, one of your amazing, um, you know, one of our calls on the, uh, with the team, with the group and just, um, something that has really stuck out, um, that I've stuck with and I've, I've shared, you know, with my husband as well as yes, it's been nine months, but look at our growth, own your growth. Because on the, on the days that are hard, I'm, I think of, Oh, this hard day was every hour, that first couple of, of weeks, that first month that was nonstop, but look at, look at me, you know, and, and own that growth so that we can move forward for sure mm -hmm. that was the theme this year that I introduced yeah owning that growth I love it. Mm -hmm. so powerful yeah tell me what you would say to somebody who's on the fence about joining us oh my goodness um don't be on the fence jump over and join the team because this community of women that even though I wish I could have been at the retreat and I really hope to be there someday I just feel like I've known for years and, you know, again, and just listening to the calls and, and just having that bond again, you never in a million years think you'd want to have a bond with an inf you know, just people that have went through this infidelity, but, oh man, it is unlike no other to truly heal and, and take one day at a time with this group of of women that are experiencing so many of the same emotions that you want to go away, but you can't, mm -hmm. but so many emotions to, to truly move forward and, and just have peace with life. So, yes. yeah, it's crazy. And I love, you know, this testimonial part is kind of just like the apex of telling your story, right? Because so many women get stuck in that space of the trauma and the drama and the can you believes and the he did this and pointing the yeah. fingers and like when you can accept your growth and do your healing your story changes and it's beautiful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah I would say I would still be pointing fingers and he did this he did absolutely mm -hmm. and and again there are some days still that I, I'm having that and I'm human and I I get that but yes and you own that growth and you recognize I, it <laughs> absolutely I love it thank you so much for sharing your beautiful story with us and for those of you who are listening just as she's saying like you're not alone and there is a community of women who are uh, who are committed to their empowerment and to their own growth and you don't have to stay victim to this trauma like even though you didn't do anything even though this isn't your fault this is what has happened to you and your healing is your responsibility and just as she did you can find that healing and a beautiful relationship congratulations on your anniversary tomorrow so exciting yes it is that's exciting for sure thank you you're welcome and thanks for those of you who are watching and listening if you have any questions or are ready to get started book a call with my team and let's get you going because i promise you in as little as eight weeks you can have relief calm, steady growth within yourself and your relationship. All right. I love you and bye-bye.